Hey there, what's going on you guys? Kate McShay here and in part two of internet marketing tips, I'm going to be sharing with you another way to get more leads from your videos. Okay, so stick around. All right, so number one, before you watch this video, if you see the video that's up on the screen right now, internet marketing tips, how to get leads for your videos, I want you to click on the, on the annotation that popped up right now and actually go back and watch part one if you have not done so yet. It will make a lot more sense with what I'm gonna be talking about today if you watch part one. Okay, so now you're back, you've probably watched part one, so you understand about adding in annotations to your videos. Now I'm gonna share with you another tip and another strategy that you can utilize in order to get more leads from your videos, because here's the sad truth of what's happened with YouTube, okay? And there's there was a change that happened, I would say about six to eight months ago, however, it still affects a lot of people, okay? So let's go to the end of this video, and watch what happens at the end of this video, because, what happens is, is when you are creating videos to get leads, you want people to click on your link that's in the description down here, right? So here's the problem. When, let's watch the end of this video and watch what happens, okay? Watch what happens to the about section. Some more training on how to successfully build your business. Again, this is Kate McShay. Hope to see you around this channel again soon. Take care. So what ends up happening is the link that you want people to go to changes because YouTube has made a change that they take you to share, okay? Because they want you to share this video and share it with your friends, share it with your network on YouTube, which is great. However, when you're trying to create videos to get people to click on your links to either your offer or go to your blog, go to your fan page, when that about section goes away, it makes it pretty much impossible for them to click on the link because we live in an I need it now kind of world where people don't wanna go back and even click the about section to go get your link, okay? So here's the thing, I'm gonna share with you two ways that you can actually extend out your video, okay? One way that you don't even have to do yourself and the other way that will take you about five minutes to do, okay? So stick around and I'll see you in one second. Okay, so I'm back and I'm actually in a video editing software called called ScreenFlow, and you could use ScreenFlow, you can use Camtasia, Screencast-O-Matic, uh, Windows Movie Maker, uh, iMovie, any of these things allow you to do this, okay? So I'm at the end of my video, okay? And then watch what happens here. I am going to, okay, click text box, and I'm gonna click add text box, okay? So down at the bottom, I'm actually gonna move it up to the top here, Actually, no, we'll do it down at the bottom like this for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in a text, okay? I'm entering in a call to action, right? Because we talked about how important a call to action is, telling people what to do. So I'm going to put, click the link in the description right now for whatever it is. And if you want to keep it generic so that you can reuse this text box over and over and over again, go ahead, go for it right now for more, let's do free training, okay? Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually move this around a little bit, okay, right into the middle. We can even expand this out, make it bigger if we want to, okay? It doesn't have to be anything perfect, okay? You can center it in the middle. All you want is just to have some sort of call to action at the end, okay? Just to get started. You can always get fancier. I'm going to show you a way in a second to get even fancier at the end. But here's what you really want to do, okay? What you want to do right now is you want to extend this out. So you want to do it for at least 30 seconds, okay? And the reason why is because what will happen is, is you're going to put this into your video on YouTube, right? So then when the video plays, what will happen at the end of it is that they'll see this on the screen and they'll continue to see this call to action on the screen. And so what it does is it keeps that about section up that we saw went away at the end of a video and it actually allows people a little bit more time to understand what you're offering at the bottom and actually have them click on the link, okay? Rather than, oop, video's done, it moved over to share and now there's no way for me to click on that link anymore, okay? So let's just go through what this looks like at the end. Okay, so watch. Annotations with links to other videos on your channel. Take care. So it switches right over at the end to click 
the link in the description, it's going to go for 30 seconds, okay? So what that does is obviously it keeps, like we said, the about section up a little bit longer. So this is something that you can actually do in any kind of video editing software, just add a quick text document, okay, a quick text box to the end of your video and just extend it out for 30 seconds, okay? If that was helpful to you, just make sure you comment below this video just to let me know, okay, um, if that's something that you're going to plan on doing. Now, I want to show you one more way where you don't even have to take care of, you know, creating a text box or anything like this and if you want something a little bit flashier. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I am over at Fiverr.com, okay? And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for video outros. Now, what I just created with that text box in my video editing software is what's called a video outro, okay? It's a way to basically extend out your video. And you can do it as well in Fiverr and actually outsource it for five bucks, okay? Someone will create something pretty cool, flashy for you, okay? And... and in a way that you like that you don't have to create that looks a little bit fancier than maybe just that text box of click the link below to get more free training okay so let's just click on one it really doesn't matter I like to stick around recommended or high rating okay if you need it fast express gigs might work better but I would just make sure that you stick around with something that's in the higher ratings okay so let's click on let's see let's click on this guy Okay, he'll create an intro, so you could have a video intro as well, and an outro video, okay? Now, this is done by Crackle Pop, and he's got 100% overall rating. Now, you can order the gig, okay? Just go down and click and order the gig, or if you have a couple of questions, you can specifically contact him, okay? You can contact Crackle Pop. We can also view and see what this outro looks like and see if it's something that you'd want. Now, remember, in the outro, you want to say, click the link below to get more free training, okay? where it says fiber. Let's see if it's something that works. So these are the different images, okay, that he shows you that you can have. Pretty cool. So if that's something So if that's something that you like, okay? Let's check that out. It's pretty cool. And then it can say, click on the link below to get more, okay? And you can extend that out, obviously, for a little bit longer. Um, so that's something that is obviously another option if you want something a little bit more high quality. But to be honest, the most important part is just that you extend out your video by at least 30 seconds and you give them a strong call to action still. Okay, so if you liked this video, please let us know, share it with your friends, Google Plus it, uh, subscribe to this channel so you can get other trainings as well, okay, in order to help you get more leads from your videos, different video marketing training, as well as if you're looking at this on our blog, make sure to leave a comment on our blog as well too, so that we know um, what kind of value we gave you with regards to this training video, and make sure that tomorrow you come back and you check out video three, because I'm going to basically give you a way that guarantees that people will click on your offer at any point in time during your video making it super easy where they don't even have to go into the description so stick around and I will see you tomorrow take care